Hello, so a short while ago I coded uh, this uh, thing and um, if you don't remember you can watch the video, it's really short and it's going to be linked in the description, it's going to be linked on the actual video, you have to find a link somewhere um, because I'll put it there. Okay, so um, the next step here would be to animate this whole thing and uh, in order to get an interesting animation we're going to be adding another um, set of stops uh, before the first two. So uh, here we're going to have another set of transparent uh, and here uh, we'll be using um, a calc with a custom property. So this is going to be my progress. So this is going to be my first progress. Um, this is going to be times the whole value. Um, and this is uh, zero initially. Uh, and then I'm going to have something similar here, except I'm going to have a second custom property here. Okay, so uh, this is it uh, for the CSS, and now we're going to animate this with a little bit of JS. So, um, first of all, we're going to decide over a number of frames that the animation uh, takes um, happens over. So this is the number of frames. Uh, let's say something like 50. Okay, uh, and then we're going to have an update function. Okay, and we're going to call this uh, right from the get-go. Um, we're also going to have a current frame, which is zero initially. Um, and here, within the update function, um, I have that so I'm going to do this and um, I also update uh, those custom properties so um, and update them in a loop so that's uh, document body uh, style set property um, that's progress uses the loop index and here I have But the thing is, I don't want uh, them to update at the same time because I'm not going to see anything if I do that. So, um, obviously, at the end, request animation frame update. So the thing is, I want to use different timing functions here. So I'm going to use a timing functions object. Um, and uh, I'm going to have an ease in and um, one ease out. Sorry. Okay, uh, and the thing is, I'm going to pick out uh, the ease in. Uh, sorry, the ease in and ease out from uh, this article I wrote that's going to be linked in the description as well. And it's about uh, timing functions, uh, reproducing CSS timing functions with JS. So I'm just going to pick the ease in and the ease out. And if you want to see how I got these values, just you can just go uh, see uh, that stuff. Just uh, copy paste them in uh, here. So, okay, and here, of course, I'm going to use timing function. Um, so, depending on i, it's either ease out or ease in. And this now does it. We have a nice animation right there. So, um, one more thing I want to do here, so um, I don't add unneeded decimals. Uh, and yeah, this is it. This is uh, the whole thing, the whole animation. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description below. There's the option of a donation, and there's a donation link there. Or you can make this kitty very happy uh, by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. There are two links in there. 
or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days and support the implementation of the cool stuff uh, in here because um, this is done with the help of um, uh, a masking, so mask composite, which uses the value exclude in this case. And this is only supported by Firefox at this point, but if there is enough interest in it, then other browsers will follow. So uh, yeah, please support this because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.